In this video, we're gonna make the hands for our puppet. If you don't have the pattern yet, download it from the link below. This is a nylon fleece that is commonly used for puppets. A lot of people call it Antron fleece. Now start off by tracing out the pattern. Now we gotta stitch it up. Be sure not to stitch this part of the hand. It'll be helpful later on. You could do this by hand, but using a sewing machine is much faster. Now it's time to cut it out. Make sure not to cut too close to your stitch line. Now we have to turn these hands inside out. An easy way is by using two pencils. I put one up through the bottom of the arm, then the other to push the fingers down inside the hand. That makes it easier to turn the whole arm. Next, you're going to need a half inch wide sheet of foam to start tracing out your hands. You're actually going to need to cut out four of these to make one pair of hands. If you want to make these hands poseable, you're going to need armature wire. I cut off eight pieces about 10 inches long. The arm rods I use are about 330 seconds wide, but you could use a coat hanger or whatever wire you have lying around. I bend them into a P-shape, then I feed the wire through, and then I start twisting them. This creates the armature for the fingers. Next, I lay this over the foam hand to make sure that it fits. I clip off the excess and then bend the tips over so it doesn't end up poking through the fingers. I typically use contact cement for this, but hot glue will do just fine. Now I sandwich this with another foam hand. And now for the tricky part. We have to fit this inside of our fabric covering. It takes a little bit of wrestling, but it will fit. Now we're going to stitch this together around the arm rod. To fill the arms, you can use fiber fill, batting, but in this case we're going to use foam. If you use foam as well, you're going to want to cut the corners to take the edge off and trim them to size. Roll the arm inside out so you can fit the foam inside. And then stitch it up. For handles, I use 5 8 dowel rod, and I mark the drilling hole off-center. This creates a thumb rest on your handle. When using the drill, make sure that you cover your eyes, and keep your fingers away from the bit. I found that epoxy creates the strongest connection between the arm rods and the handles. Epoxy can give off some fumes, so you must be in a well-ventilated area when doing this. And after a quick coat of spray paint, these babies are all done and ready to be attached to our puppet. I just did the knot on the end of this arm here. Once you get the first one on, you can transfer that measurement over to the other arm. Here he is, this goofy little guy with his hands attached now. Hey, it's good to have arms finally. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and let me know what else you want to see. If you missed how I made the body for this guy, click on the link down below. You can also download his free pattern.